I'm calling from the law firm of Kilpatrick Townsend Stockton. Um, we represent Apple, and I'm calling to speak with Mr. Rossman. Hey, everybody. How's it going? So today, we're going to be looking at a machine that Apple said would be 475 to replace the logic board on. Let's see what's going on with this machine and see if that's actually true. We can open this thing up. All right. You all ready? You all ready? Um, we represent Apple. We represent Apple. So let's see what's going on with this MacBook. So as with every other MacBook, we're going to unplug the battery. We are going to plug the charger in, and we're going to see what it's taking. Uh, okay, so we're going to turn on our power supply software. All right, so it looks like this machine turns on. It does have a green light. We do have fan spin. If we were to check uh, Paul Daniels' multimeter software so that you could see what's on the screen, let's see if we get that. All right, so let's see what we get on our PP bus. We get 8.6 volts, all right, so it should be recognized in a battery. Now, hmm, let's see if the battery plugs into the machine and is recognized. Okay, so the battery was a little funkily plugged in in the beginning. Now I'm gonna kinda wanna see if I, can, if I can see that battery connector, which may require removing the board itself. All right, so let's take a look here on the battery itself. One of these is not like the other. The third one from the right. None of the pins will look bent there. Now we're going to see how many amps it takes. Yeah, that's charging voltage right there. So what did she say? What is her problem? This works. Interesting. Why did Apple say this would be $475 to repair? I mean, it turns out. Oh, look. 58%. It was unplugged, Paul. Yeah. The battery wasn't plugged in. Or fully. It was kind of janky. There we go. Now it's plugged in all the way. So uh, before, it was not plugged in as nicely as it should be. And now the battery is plugged in all the way as it should be. Uh, just take a look here. If you rewind the stream about five or six minutes, you'll see that it wasn't plugged in as nicely. See, there's a little there's a thingy over here. So see that little plastic thingy? That thingy has to be under and through. First it has to go under this thingy, then it has to go through this thingy. So the fir this thingy has to go through this thingy, and then it'll work. When we opened the machine, it was like sitting like this, and that's why the battery wasn't working. Can you bring this customer in so that they could see what Apple wanted to charge $475 for? She's watching the screen. Oh. I set up my laptop. She's watching the screen. They really told her 475 bucks for this horse? It wasn't f***ing plugged in! Yes, $475 for a non-plugged-in battery. If I upload this, people are going to say I made this up. Ask if she wants to confirm the story, because this is going to be something that people think I'm b***ing on. So I brought in the computer to Apple Store because it wasn't charging properly. Uh -huh. um, so it would take like 12 hours to charge. Um, normally it would take like 2 to 3 hours to charge fully, but if I plugged in overnight, it wouldn't charge. In the morning it would be like 20%. So I brought it in, and they ran the test. Uh, and when they opened it up, they said one of the pins that connects the charging port to the battery was bent. And they needed to replace the logic board, and that would cost me $475. All right. So as I just showed, when we got this in, this is the battery, and it right. was sitting like this. Really? Yeah. So it needs to be all the way in there. So let's say, let me just zoom right. in. So watch this little piece in the middle over here. Sure. See this, the plastic yeah. piece? When I push, now it's plugged in. Yeah. So that's why it's not running off of the battery. Now you'll see that it's able to charge because without the battery plugged in, it's going to give you, nice sticker. I like the sticker. <laughs> Thanks. So when the battery, yeah, watch. So the board itself takes 500. So anything in this little number here over 500 yeah. is going to be the battery charging and working. So let's just turn it on. Okay. Got a happy little apple on the screen. I'm going to cover the name over here. Okay, perfect. So before... 58% in charging. So before it would say X. 
Yeah. Like, it, it because said, it wasn't. Yeah, it connected. said X because your battery wasn't plugged in. Because when they were testing it, they likely didn't plug the battery back in all the way. Tried to jam it in there. Right. And then. So why were they telling me about the pin? So the pins were fine, apparently. If it was bent, they bent it. But the thing is, they weren't actually bent because I looked at it in the microscope right. and I could see that they weren't bent. Interesting. Okay, well, thank so you so much. So if it's much. charging slowly, you may potentially need a new battery because after like two to three years, they start to go dead. That's 129. But right. yeah, you don't need a new board. Your, your battery yeah. wasn't plugged into the board. Okay, okay, yeah. great. Thank Many you. Many people are going to think that we made this up. <laughs> but no, you did not make this up. Go. All right, I'm going to close this up and sure. you'll be good. Uh, I should have zoomed in on that connector in the beginning because you saw that it wasn't plugged in properly. Like you could see that it wasn't plugged in properly, but it was zoomed out. And I noticed it, but I didn't zoom in on it. But still, it was zoomed in well enough that you could see that. And also, I, you may notice I'm looking at the screws. So these screws actually have different colored Loctite on it. It's one of those details. Again, I'm not expecting people that can't even tell how to plug in a battery to tell. But see how this screw has green Loctite? So the green Loctite screw believe is going to go here and the brown Loctite goes there then the green one goes there this is this is part of Rossman group OCD many of you have likely never noticed this before so check out Rossman group OCD so this, this one's fatter too. see this you may think that those are the same screw because they're all virtually the same length but this one actually has a brown Loctite on it and that one goes in the middle and then again we have this one over here this has green Loctite and like, this is the other kind of shit that is pissed. Like, well, what the fuck is this? Either don't put the rubber back on or put it back on properly, but don't have your rubber on in this, like, U position. This is not the way you put a rubber on. I bet the genius that inspected this computer has several unwanted children. Although then again, on one hand, he can't put the rubber on properly, but on the other hand, he can't plug it in properly. So hopefully those two mistakes balance each other out. All right, so we plug in our battery properly. And that's the thing, cases like this, the person that told this person it was going to cost $475, they're not pocketing the $475. They don't have some sort of sales quota or incentive plan where they need to milk every single customer for as much money as possible. They're not going to get $475 in their own pocket. They're not going to gonna get an additional $5 in their own pocket for misprescribing the repair. And it's, it's one of these things, you know, I don't have a high level of sympathy when they say, well, there's a high amount of traffic, this, that, and the other. Here's the thing, there's a difference between misdiagnosing something and then not being able to plug something in and then saying that they have to pay for it. Because there's, you know, you could say, well, it could be the screen to the screen cable. If it's the screen, it's 500. If it's the screen cable, it's 100 to 150, that kind of thing. And, but, you know, you could give people estimates on the spot, but this whole thing where I bring it to them and my battery is not charging as fast as I'd like it, I leave, my battery gives me an X, and the only thing that I did while I was there was unplug and plug in the battery, maybe Mr. Genius should look and think, hmm, this hasn't been opened before by anybody but me, and I unplugged the battery, and now it doesn't want to plug back in. Maybe we should look into that. You know, it's, it's that type of thing that, that, that really bothers me. Uh, it's, it's, and it, granted, it's not something that's necessarily only something that Apple does. You've seen on this channel, I've pointed out countless times how there are franchises, you know, the, uh, that don't seem to care about quality. They just care about opening as many locations as humanly possible and pumping out as many minimum wage or close to minimum wage techs that don't give a shit. And it's, it's, it's an endemic problem and it's, it's lame. It's, you know, take some pride in your job. It doesn't, again, it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter if you, whether you're um, a CEO or a postman or, or a supervisor at a post office, or even the person at the Genius Bar that's just looking at the battery. Just take a little bit of pride in the fact that if you do your job well, you're going to make somebody happy. That person wasted a trip here. They wasted time out of their day. It's a we Labor Day weekend. They could be doing something fun right now. Instead, they're in this dump of a store, which is not exactly a, a nice-looking place uh, to be in because you didn't do your job. Lame. So that's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something. I'm going to hand this person back their MacBook, and they should know where to come with their problems from now on. See you later.